For Miles Morales, brand new mythics, battle pass leaks, and much more, we're going to be covering everything you guys need to know about the Chapter 4 Season 2 update coming out here into Fortnite very soon. And trust me, there is a lot of awesome stuff that you guys are not going to want to miss about this brand new season. And we did get the new Sam Wilson Captain America skin uh, released into the shop, so we'll be sending him as today's gift. If you guys want to receive a gift in a future video, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and also leave your epic usernames down below so I can add you and send you the gift. And a big shout out to everyone using code NERF2 in the Fortnite item shop. You guys are legends, and I really appreciate the support, so thank you. Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 is going to be released on March 8th, which is actually a new date that they just officially revealed to us after the last update. Originally, it was set to release on March 10th, so we are going to be getting the season two days early, which is obviously a bonus for us, because that's two less days that we have to wait for. Oh, this guy did not expect us to be up here. Dude, this guy's literally just hiding in here. Can you show yourself, dude? I really don't want to play hide and seek for 20 minutes straight. So the first leak that just recently came out here about Fortnite Season 2 is actually a live event that we're going to be getting at the end of Season 1. Oh, we, we just got... Oh, okay. All right, yeah, we'll take this every day. We just got one of the uh, exotics. I did not know there was an augment that just automatically gave this to you. That's actually really cool. There was a lot of speculation around the fact that we might not get a live event at the end of this season, but that was all shattered once data miners found that Epic is working on the Astral game mode, which in case you guys did not know, is the game mode and playlist that they release for every single live event that we've seen in the past. It's a game mode where there is respawn enabled, there is no HUD, no weapons, no doing damage to players, and it's basically that game mode that we all join 30 minutes before every live event to uh, make sure that there is no bugs or glitches or anything that uh, can ruin the event for all the players. Now, getting a live event's very exciting, and we also know now that this live event is most likely gonna be based around the Rift Gate that we have been helping the Rift Warden build here in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1 over the course of the last one and a half months. And right now, the Rift Gate is actually fully built. If you guys head on over to this tower right here next to the Citadel, that is where the Rift Gate is currently located. It is completely done, and I'm guessing that this live event is going to be us going through this and seeing where it takes us to release us for a new map or reality in Chapter 4 Season 2. Now, on top of this, data miners also found that the Web Slinger accolade was added in Fortnite 23.30's update, which was a few weeks ago. And alongside this, the web shooter animations and audio got re-added in the last update. So they go on to say that it's very likely that it's being worked on to return soon. Now, of course, the only reason Fortnite would be bringing back the Web Slingers is if they were doing another collaboration with Marvel to release a new version of Spider-Man into the game for Chapter 4 Season 2. And there's literally only one other version of Spider-Man that is yet to be released here in Fortnite. And that is, of course, Miles Morales. We have had Prowler, Spider-Gwen, and also three different versions and snapshots of Spider-Man, different versions of him through the MCU, all released here into Fortnite in different battle passes and into the item shop. So it would make a lot of sense if Miles Morales was added in Season 2's battle pass and also with the release of a new Spider-Man skin, that means we would also get the Web Slingers back which was one of the most fun and awesome mythics that we've ever had here in Fortnite. And I think a lot of you guys will agree with that. It's a really fun item to use. It's great to rotate around the map and it just makes the game more fun and fast paced. There's a guy right here. We're going to be sneaky. Alright, we're gonna throw grenades, make them panic. Oh, we have 16 HP. We have 16 HP. That was really, really close. Now, speaking of Battle Pass skins in Miles Morales, we also have a few other skins that are most likely going to be dropping throughout Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 that have been shown and revealed to us in skin surveys that Epic actually sends out via email to get player feedback on upcoming skins and collaborations that they're going to be doing. 
Yeah, he- this guy thought I could not see him, dude. I knew he was in the bush. And luckily, the bloom just absolutely lasered him, so he couldn't even react. He probably thinks we're hacking because I just randomly lasered him in the bush, but I saw his feet. So, out of all the survey skins, these two are most likely going to be dropping in Chapter 4 Season 2, and maybe even featured in the Season 2 Battle Pass. The first one here is literally a skin that appears to have the zero point in the middle of its chest, and a lot of people are thinking this is going to be connected to the storyline in some way, shape, or form. And the second one here is this golden skin that literally looks kind of like a god skin. It appears to be something that's very, very powerful. And a lot of people are actually thinking it's connected to the last reality, which uh, came to the Fortnite Island at the end of chapter two in big spaceships and was a part of the Cube Queen live event, which again, I think these are most likely going to be dropping in season two and be heavily connected to the Fortnite storyline and overall lore, which I'm very excited for as well, because they're two really cool skins and very unique skins at that. We don't have anything in the game that's anything like them. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. I'm dude. This guy didn't miss a shot. Hello? Oh my god, dude. Zero build has felt mega sweaty. Like every single player I come against is just cracked out of his mind. It's Monday, man. Why aren't these kids in, in school, dude? All right. Well, the good news is we did rank up enough to finally get the new style of Doom Slayer, which is pretty cool. And we also completed one of the heist challenges to get the free weapon wrap and a new augment so we got some cool stuff during that match now the last thing that is pretty much guaranteed going to be coming out at the release of chapter 4 season 2 is something that we actually were able to use early in a glitch over here in Fortnite Save the World, and that is the upcoming first person mode that is going to be a dedicated mode here in Fortnite in the beginning of season two. It was found in the files once this season released that Epic was working on a first person mode, and then a few updates ago, we were actually able to go into Save the World and enable it early, which obviously was not intended, but there was certain weapons that you were actually able to use in first person mode. We made videos showcasing this. I'll throw gameplay up on the screen so you guys can see exactly what it looks like, but it literally is Fortnite in first person mode. And uh, you could zoom down first person and all the different weapons with different sites. And it overall looks really, really cool. Now, since then, Epic has patched this glitch since it was never intended to come out in the first place. But this pretty much guarantees that since the glitch was working and everything was really ready to go, most likely in the beginning of season two, this mode will launch with the season update and we'll be able to play first person mode for the foreseeable future after chapter four season two does come out. That's all I got for you guys today. Lots of exciting stuff coming with season two. I cannot wait. We are only a few weeks away. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.